Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is going to be your monthly general zodiac reading for January 2021 for the cusp of Pisces, Aries. You are the cusp of rebirth. So if your birthday runs between March the 17th and March the 23rd, you are in fact a Pisces, Aries cusper baby. Um, we're doing things differently this year. We're no longer doing you and your person. That's done with. <laughs> um, we're not doing half hour readings, general readings either. They're going to be 10 to 15 minutes tops. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump right in because we don't have no time to waste. Okay. So let's just get ready. Get these cards shuffled and get them out on the table. Okay. <sighs> I hope everyone had a great new year. I hope all my Pisces, Aries, Cuspers had an amazing new year. I hope that everyone is ready for all the wonderful things that are going to conspire this year. Keeping your vibrations high, getting rid of negative energies, not focusing on the negative or focusing on anything that will lower your frequency. So we're going to go ahead and get started because I want to see, I want to see <laughs> what the energy is like for Pisces, Aries, Cuspers. All right, spirit. <sighs> Let's see. Spirit, what energy is in the atmosphere for Pisces, Aries, Cuspers for month of January 2021? Mm. Someone is waking up. Someone's having a little wake up. Someone's having a little wakey wakey. <laughs> Someone's having a little wakey wakey. Bottom of the deck, page of wands. Definitely someone could be... Getting, you know, messages from their ancestors, from spirit animals, you know, birds specifically. Someone could be getting this, you know, this information to them. Because with the judgment card here in this deck, I feel like someone's getting a wake-up call. Being pulled out the fire. Um, again, with the masculine energy um, of the emperor, I got a new beginning. Possibly with a Aries. This is a Pisces Aries cusp reading, but... Someone's starting a new journey. We got the full card again. It's like literally Aquarius, Aquarius, Pisces, 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 Aries. It's like all the very similar cards, okay? I have the Hermit energy as well, which is the Virgo energy, but it's about solitude, meditation, um, soul searching, and four of pentacles. Maybe it's about something that someone needs to let go of or has been unable to let go of. We could say that as well. gonna get some clarity on the table though because all right spirit please clarify the fool's energy spirit please clarify the fool's energy i feel like someone has been lied to like someone has been lied to ooh, by a fire sign or maybe maybe you've been lying because you are pisces aries but we have the seven of pentacles okay so i feel like someone could be leaving something behind something that you know with the full car something that they had to lie about and they don't want to lie anymore you know i feel like with the queen and the king of wands this is like taking control taking your power back and giving like yourself another opportunity to, again this is the judgment card but in this deck is called rebirth okay same energy as you know this card only different images basically this one is getting pulled out of the fire this one is being rebirth okay i definitely feel like again aries energy strong really strong mm. I feel like of this the sense of confidence moving into this new energy. Like into this unknown, there's a sense of confidence. Probably because they're tired of the secrets. They don't want to be a secret or they don't want things to be like they don't want to move forward that way anymore. Spirit, please clarify the four of pentacles. Spirit, please clarify the four of pentacles. And with the four of pentacles, check that out. Spirit, please clarify the four of pentacles energy. We have the High Priestess, Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and a Queen of Cups. So again, Pisces, Aries. We have Pisces energy here. We have Aries energy here. Queen of Cups, Pisces energy, all right? I do feel like somebody's having a hard time letting go. Something from their past, okay? 
I feel like whatever this is, is holding them back from reaching their higher self, right? And it's something that they have so much time invested in that it's really hard for them to let go. Really hard. Spirit, please clarify the hermit energy. Spirit, please clarify the hermit energy. Spirit, please clarify the hermit energy. All right, so we have the three of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and a six of swords. Someone's kind of trying to figure out what to do to go forward. They want to be on the same page with someone. Could be a Virgo. It could be a Virgo. We have a lot of, um, we have, you know, the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles here. But it's about long-term stability. Someone wants to leave things behind. They're waiting for something to calm down. Maybe they're waiting for things to calm down so they can, so they can present or move towards this new beginning. Get one more. Spirit, please, one more card for the hermit energy. Nine of Swords. Hmm. Someone is very regretful. And this is, they don't want to be regretful. Depressed. Can't sleep. Worried. Very worried. Trying to figure out what to do. Looking for the answers inside themselves on how to get on the same page with someone. How to get that long-term stability, you know? Spirit, please clarify the judgment energy. Spirit, please clarify the judgment energy. Ten of Wands. Six of Wands and the Page of Cups. Spirit, one more card for the Judgment Energy. And the Eight of Swords, yeah. Someone's in their head an awful lot about these burdens, and they really want to move forward. I feel like they had an epiphany moment. Like, I'm in my head trying to figure out what to do, trapping myself almost, you know. Got to get rid of this energy. This is baggage. I feel like they've had an epiphany moment with the Page of Cups, and now they're ready to move forward and progress. Big deals. Big deals. Spirit, please clarify the Emperor's energy and please clarify the Ace of Wands energy, Spirit. I need a couple cards here, Spirit. I need a few more, Spirit. A few more, Spirit. And thank you. I'm going to take it. And we have the Emperor again, Aries energy, Taurus energy. Let's see what we got here. All right, so someone's moving forward and towards this new beginning. I feel like they discovered something, but more importantly, it's, it's more than what they discovered. It's more so about what they're going to gain. Like, they learned how to do something differently. How to not be young about it. I feel like they matured. Yeah, that's why they're, that's they're leaving. That's what they're leaving behind, their reckless behavior. They were very reckless, and I feel like they know that. And whatever this is, is attached to something from their childhood. Something that they, you know, held on to from aeons ago. Could be a past life, you know. But in order to reach your higher self, they realize they got to let go of this immature fire energy that they have. This recklessness, okay. There goes that cleansing. There goes that cleansing, all right. That's what the star energy makes me feel like, you know. And the four of cups is like, so that they can allow something, so they can trust. So they can allow love. So they can allow themselves to be open to that you know i just feel like a lot of growth with the empress energy um i'm feeling like a lot of stability a lot of making sure things are okay making sure things are in order you know and i'm also feeling like new beginnings with love like for self more than anything else someone is definitely feeling like they're in love with themselves or they're feeling like you know they're they're beginning to change the way they think or the way they feel when it comes to love like that's definitely the vibe here like, it's been a vibe ever since I started doing um, Aquarius Pisces. This has been the vibe. So, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Because now we're all the way into Pisces, Aries, and it's still the same vibe. Kind of crazy, y'all. <laughs> all right, Spirit. Please confirm. Please confirm the Fool's energy, Spirit. Please confirm the Fool's energy. Fear, please confirm the fool's energy. Please, fear, please confirm the fool's energy. Okay, I knew that death card was coming out. Queen of Swords, death card, king of wands, and a two of pentacles. Again, someone is tired of like being this young person, this young fire energy, and just figuring out what to do, making it right, balancing things out. Just figuring it out. They're just figuring it out, okay? And just taking these, these leaps, you know? I feel like... With the Pisces and the, and the Aries energy, that's where we're getting this king from, this king of wands. Someone definitely is maturing to that king, you know, making 
better choices, leading themselves better, you know, leading the pack better, not just leading themselves, but leading the pack better, pack better and putting things into perspective and just realizing, yes, it is time for a rebirth. It is time for death because I need a rebirth. It's time for transformation. It's time for me to change. Like someone's just like, it's time to change. Spirit, please confirm the four of pentacles energy with the four of pentacles. Let go, baby. Five of pentacles. I'm telling you, I'm getting alignment. Spirit, you want that long-term stability, that Ten of Pentacles? You're going to have to let go of the old way you used to think, your old morals, the old values. Like, you know, one of them hot-headed people. Like, you know, I am who I am. I'm going to be who I be. No, baby, that's not how it goes. You have to grow. Get in alignment. And I know it's a lot of changes, and it's kind of some fast changes. Fast changes, but you got the Four of Pentacles twice in the same place. It's time to let go if you want to ascend to higher levels. It's time. It was. It's you in the past. It's not. It's not who you are right now. Okay. It's not who you are right now. Again, that long term stability is available to you if you want it. If you're really willing to go towards it. Spirit, please confirm the hermit energy. Spirit, please confirm the hermit energy. It's a lot of same cards in these readings, just being repeated over and over again, y'all. I'm telling you. Again, we have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Very regretful energy here. Someone does not want to regret what they're doing. They don't. We have the nine of swords here. And we got the nine of swords here. So someone is just like, they can't sleep. Like, I, 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 I want that long-term stability. I didn't even peep that. We have the ten of pentacles here. And we have the ten of pentacles here. It's all about long-term stability. Like, that's, that's really what it's about. Being on the same page with those around you to create that. So I feel like, you know... You could be going forward. Things that could be changing dramatically could be shifting things intentionally or unintentionally. It doesn't matter. Things are shifting and events are taking place that that's doing this. Okay. Seeing things differently. Again, what did I tell you? Reaching higher levels, the high priestess, you know what I'm saying? Reaching those levels where you see things differently. It's no longer the same investing in yourself. And I feel like these, this, I can't sleep or this, this regretful, this energy that I'm getting, it seems like that's what you don't want. You don't want to be regretful anymore. Like you're tired of being in that energy. I, I want to invest more in myself. Spirit, please confirm the judgment energy. Spirit, please confirm the judgment energy. Spirit, please confirm the judgment energy. One more card, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, somebody's making lots of choices right now, making the best choices that they know possible, okay? To move forward and let go of that baggage. It's not just baggage, it's betrayal. That ship has sailed, baby. That ship has sailed and you're definitely in your Aries energy, taking that leadership role with the magician and with the emperor, okay? You're taking that leadership role and you're realizing you're in charge of your destiny. You are the one that makes the moves and makes the decisions that will change your life and nobody else. Spirit, please confirm the emperor energy. We have the emperor three times, y'all. King of Swords, Spirit, please confirm the emperor energy, making the right choices and the right decisions in a mature way, letting go of the past with the Six of Cups. Spirit, we need some more cards for the emperor and for the Ace of Wands. Spirit, we need some more cards. Spirit, one more card. One more card, Spirit. Okay, bottom of the deck, justice. Making things right. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Don't really feel that, but I'm going to throw it out there because I, I thought it for a second. So I'm going to throw it out there. But yes, I feel like someone has matured. Someone has matured from, there she goes, this young page of swords to this mature king of swords. So they're making much better decisions. Letting go of the past. With the Six of Cups, letting go of the burdens. Wanting to move more into a balanced state of existence. Okay? I also feel like things are shifting for the better for this person um, or these individuals. And like I said, progress with the Six of Wands. All right? And Four of Wands is celebration. Four of Wands is like an initiation. It's like, you know, a rite of passage. I always feel that way. It's like a rite of passage, meaning you've come so far and now it's time for you to level up in a major way. So... It's more than just, you know, that card is more than just weddings and celebrations and things like that. That card also represents a self, like, initiation. Like, you have surpassed your last level. Spirit, any oracle messages? All right, so let's get the card over here because they always fall. <laughs> Anybody knows, they know. Burdens, I'm telling you, somebody's releasing those burdens. Is there any more oracle messages? Slow and steady. Don't rush the process. That's the message. Don't rush the process. 
again, integration, learning how to integrate certain things into your life to help you grow and letting go of the things that don't. Omens. I told you, this is a major shift. This is a major shift for a lot of you. This is like you are be you're becoming a different person. Letting go. Let go of what no longer serves you. I told you over here, you got that let go energy all the way. Let go of that old mentality. Old mentality. Let go of anything from the past, you know? Ascension again. Ascension. I mean, self-explanatory. Overall, my Pisces, um, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading for the month of January 2021. If this reading has resonated with you, you know what to do. Don't, don't forget, comment down below. Like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you're looking for a private, personal, more in-depth reading, you can always email me, theblackcosmicologian at gmail.com, or you can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave all the links down below so you guys can get in touch with me. And don't forget to check out my daily tea and tarot Monday through Friday right here on my YouTube channel. And tune in next month for your February Zodiac reading. All right, Pisces, Aries, y'all know what it is. Until next time, I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>